Welcome everyone to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to remove all viruses, malware, adware, and spyware off of a Windows computer. This will include a full deep clean which will help optimize your computer and make sure it's running at its peak efficiency. Yes, I am doing this on Windows 11, but the steps are basically the same for older versions of Windows. However, I will link down below in the notes down in the video description to a playlist of older versions of this video. For step one, if you go down to the notes down in the video description, there is a link that you can click on that will take you to this page, which is a free anti-malware program. Just go ahead and click on the free download, download and install it. We're going to click on install. We're going with the left option and the next. On this step, click on skip, click done and then get started, click maybe later. You do not need to enter an email, leave it blank and click on get started. If this is your first time using Malwarebytes, it will default to a premium trial. We want to deactivate this by clicking on the gear icon. Go to the account option, click deactivate, deactivate, yes. Afterwards, it will switch you to the free version, which is what we want. Click on the security option. Go down to where it says Windows Startup, turn this off, and then scroll down just a little ways. And right here where it says scan for rootkits, turn this on. Click the little X right here and then click on scan. And it's going to first check for updates and then it's going to scan your computer. Just let it run until it's fully completed and remove and quarantine in results it finds. For step two, we're going to run a second free anti-malware scan. And so go back down to the notes underneath step two, click the link and it will take you to this page. Go ahead and just download and install. After you run the download, click on install. You'll need to click on accept. Now it should have updated automatically, but you can click update now just to double check. After which click on the malware scan option. And same thing as before, let this run until it's fully completed if it finds any results. So we'll give you the option to quarantine and remove them. For step three, we need to do a startup audit to make sure that there aren't unnecessary programs running in the background. To get started, come down here to the start menu and click on it. Type in task manager and then click on it to open. On the left hand side, look for this icon. It is the startup apps icon. Click on it. This is a list of everything that is starting when you turn your computer on. You want to get this down to as few as possible. If there's something here that has to do with your antivirus, leave that enabled. If you have an automated online backup, leave that enabled as well. But pretty much everything else you should be able to disable. When you find something you want to disable, just click on it and then click on the disable option. Additionally on Windows 11, you need to come back to the start menu and click on it. Type in settings and open up the settings. On the left hand side, click on apps. Just FYI, you do have a startup option here that you can also check, but I'm going to click back to the apps list and right here on installed apps, I'm going to click on this. This is a list of all the apps on your computer. There is an option on Windows 11 over here on the right hand side for this little menu. You'll want to click on advanced options and each app is going to have a background app permission. If this is something you're never using, don't need, you need to click on this menu and click on never. And then I can go back to the list by clicking on installed apps. It's a little bit tedious, but you do need to go through everything on this list and disable as much as possible as far as background app permissions. Now, while we are on this list, this is going to segue into step four. For step four, we need to go through and scrub this list and remove all the garbage and apps we don't need. And if you've had problems with viruses and malware, there's a good chance something bad is on this list. And so you want to start from the top, go through every single item. When you find something you don't use, that is garbage that you need to get rid of, click on the little menu and click on uninstall. If you see a program with the title of toolbar in it, those are usually bad. I would recommend removing those. Most programs that claim to be an optimization program or cleaning tool, a lot of those are bad, so I would just remove those. And also make sure you don't have more than one antivirus installed. If you have more than one, remove and uninstall the extra antivirus. Just do a really, really good job on this step. Just scrub this list. The better job you do on this step, the better your computer will run. Also, while you're cleaning out this list, if you come across something you do not recognize or don't know what it is, you can always do an internet search and it will help you figure out what it is. But I'll also list a link to a website called shouldiremoveit.com underneath this step down in the notes that you can go to and do a search there just to get some information as to whether or not you should or should not remove the program. Alternatively, you can click on the Windows menu, type in Control Panel and open it, click on Programs, Programs and Features. Here is where you can go to remove programs if you're on an older version of Windows, but please note if you're on Windows 11, you're going to want to be here because you'll notice this list is longer, so there are some things that are not listed on this list. For step five, we're going to clean out all the garbage data. And we do this because if your drives get too full, the computer will actually start to slow down. And so to get started, let's click on the Windows menu, type in storage, and then just click on storage settings. It will show how full your drive is and give you some options here. Starting from the top, temporary files, let's click on this. 
You should be able to just go with the default options and remove them and clean them out. You could also clean out the downloads though. Just make sure you don't have anything important saved in your downloads folder. If you do, move it, check the box, and then click on remove. And then once you've cleaned out the temporary files, go ahead and click on storage to go back. We've already gone through the installed app, so we're going to click on show more categories. And here it's going to give you a list of other areas you want to check, such as other documents, pictures, music. Just basically go through everything on this list and clean out all the garbage, the junk. If you have a secondary drive or a cloud drive, you could move them there. And you can open it up just by clicking on it and then click on the view option. I don't have anything here, but if you do have something here, it will give you the option to view what is there and you can remove as needed. I'm going to click on storage to go back. Also here we have a storage sense option, automatically free up space. If I click on this, we can check the box at the top and then toggle this on and adjust the settings as needed. Step six will have three parts. We're going to go through and clean out all of our web browsers and we're going to start with Chrome for part A. To get started, click on the little menu in the top right, go down to help, and then on to about Google Chrome. This will confirm that we are up to date with the latest security updates and optimization. Next, click on the little menu, go down to history, and then history. Click on clear browsing data, and then click on advanced. Now, if you've had malware, viruses, or other bad things on your computer, there's a good chance you went to a malicious website, so that's why we're cleaning this out. I would change this to all time. Only check the top four boxes, do not check the bottom four, and then click on clear data. Next, you will wanna click on the menu in the top right, go down to more tools, and then over to extensions. First off, click on the developer mode switch, turn it on, and then click on update. Extensions are fun and convenient, but they are terrible for privacy and security. And so we want to remove as many extensions as possible. Remove them all if you can. When you find one you are ready to remove, click on the remove option and then remove. And then if there's an extension you cannot part ways with, such as a password manager, just toggle it off while it's not in use. After you've gone through the full list, click on the menu in the top right, go down to settings. And on the left hand side, click on search engine. Right here, just make sure your search engine is correct. You can click on the menu to change it if needed. And then right here on the second option, you can come here and remove an option if needed. Next, go to on startup. Make sure that this option is correct. You can also click on the bottom option and make sure that there's no malicious URL listed here. You can click on it to change it as needed and then click on add. And then the last thing, come up here and type in home. The show home option, toggle it on, make sure that your home page is correct and that nothing malicious has been typed in here. If you need to change it, just type in the URL and you're good to go. For part B, we're going to clean out Firefox. And so come up here to the menu in the top right, go down to help. And when you click on it, click on about Firefox. And this will just confirm you are up to date with the most recent security and optimization updates. Click on the X and then the menu in the top right, go to history, clear recent history. Again, we do this because if you've had problems with malware and viruses, there's a good chance you went to a malicious website, so we wanna clean it out. Change this to everything, only check the top five boxes, do not check the bottom two, and then click on OK. Go back to the menu in the top right, click on add-ons and themes, and then click on extensions. To start off, click on the gear icon and click on check for updates. Same thing, we want to remove as many extensions as possible. Just click on the little menu and then remove, remove. If there's an extension you cannot remove, such as a password manager, just disable it while it's not in use. Click the menu in the top right and this time go down to settings. And then from here, click on home. Double check these top two options. Make sure your homepage is correct. You can put in a custom URL, make sure this is accurate. And then click on search. And here you can adjust your search engine, make sure it's correct. And then down here, you can also remove an option if needed. And then for part C, we're clearing out Microsoft Edge. And so if I open it, click on the menu in the top right, go down to about and feedback, and then click on about Microsoft Edge just to confirm you are up to date. This time we did update, so we're gonna click on restart. Next, click on the menu in the top right, and this time go to history, and then click the menu in the top right, and then click on clear browsing data. As before, make sure you only have the top four boxes checked, and then change this to all time and click on clear now. Go back to the menu, click on extensions, and then manage extensions. Flip on developer mode, click update. Same thing, remove as many extensions as possible because they are terrible for privacy and security. Click on the remove option, remove, and then disable any extensions you cannot part ways with. Go back to the menu, go to settings. On the left-hand side, click on start home and new tabs. 
right here this is what happens when edge first starts make sure that this is all correct and did not get changed and then same with the home option make sure the url here is accurate as well if you need to make a change just click this option and then you will be able to type in here and hit save next click on the privacy search and services scroll all the way to the very bottom click on address bar and search right here make sure that your search engine is correct and then if you need to remove an option click on manage search engines and then right here you can click on remove for step seven we're going to run an antivirus scan and for the average user the built-in antivirus in windows is all the average user needs however if you already have an antivirus installed you can use that one or if you're looking for a second opinion scan i will list free options down in the notes down in the video description but please keep in mind never install more than one antivirus at the same time and if you use a free option after you run the scan i would recommend that you remove it just to prevent them from collecting your data and to help optimize the computer. Whichever antivirus you are using, you should be able to locate it down here in the system tray. I'm just gonna click on Windows Security. We're going to click on Virus and Threat Protection. Let's go down just a little bit and click on the Protection Updates and just make sure that we are up to date by clicking Check for Updates. After which, I'm gonna click the back arrow Go up just a little bit and click on scan options and let's do a full scan to make sure we don't miss anything and then click on scan now. Let this run until it's fully completed. Remove any results if any are found. For step eight, we're going to double check the defrag settings here in Windows. So to do that, click on the Windows start menu. Just type in defrag and then click on the defragment and optimization drives option, just click on that. From here, it will list your drives and underneath media type, if this is an SSD or solid state drive, you need to make sure that this option is turned off. However, if it says hard disk, click on turn on, and then you can check the box, change it to run monthly, and then you can check this option if you'd like to, as well as you can choose the drives. Again, if it's an SSD, do not turn this option on, but if it's a hard drive, you'll do this and then click okay. For step nine, we just need to restart the computer. So come down here and click on the Windows Start menu and then click on the Power option and click on Restart. Now step 10 is optional. You only do this step if you get to this point and you're still having problems. Windows has a built-in reset option that you can use, but before you ever use this option, you need to back up all of your data. And then once you're ready, you'll come down here and click on the Windows Start menu, type in Reset and then just click on Reset this PC. And then right here, reset this PC, you can click on reset. I would first recommend try the top option. This will prevent removing your files. However, if you try this option and you're still having problems, then you're gonna to wanna to use the remove everything option. If after this option, you're still not satisfied, it usually means either you need a hardware update or you can consider using Linux, which is free. And I will post a link down in the video description showing you how to install and set up Linux again for free. That's everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.